This is a podcast from the Business Times. Good evening. It's Tuesday, August 6, 2024. Here's your market focus daily closing bell update. For the Business Times, I'm Emily Liu. Asian markets rebounded today after yesterday's historic sell off. The market panic erased about 6.4 trillion US dollars from global stock markets in just three weeks. After a weak U.S. jobs report, disappointing big tech earnings, and an interest rate hike in Japan, investors are now reassessing key assumptions that had driven their optimism in markets. Analysts are now watching closely for signs for whether this is a short-term sell-off or potentially the start of an extended market slump. Japan's Nikkei 225 jumped 10.2% today. Korea's Kospi is up 3.3%. Australia's ASX 200 is up 0.4%, Malaysia's KLCI is up 2.2%, and Taiwan's TIEX is up 3.4%. Singapore's STI was an outlier, extending its loss to 1.1% today, dragged down by the trio of local banks. Shares of UOB are down 1.7%, DBS is down 1.6%, and OCBC is down 1.3%. Meanwhile, Pure Play U.S. office real estate investment trusts listed in Singapore saw gains today, as investors expect the U.S. to cut rates and are optimistic about the Monetary Authority of Singapore's proposals to relax leverage requirements. Manulife U.S. REIT rose 4.3%, Prime U.S. REIT gained 6.2%, and Keppel Pacific Oat U.S. REIT gained 10.4%. That's it for today. For more business news and market updates, visit bt.sg. This is a podcast by The Business Times. Find more BT podcasts at businesstimes.com.sg slash podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is meant to provide general information only. SPH Media accepts no liability for loss arising from any reliance on the podcast or use of third parties' products and services. Please consult professional advisors for independent advice.